Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Best Today podcast. I am your host, Shante Grant. And today I want to talk to you about a lesson that came to my mind when I was running about a month or two ago. I was out for a run and I was in a good groove and I could tell that I was trying to pick up a new speed. The person in my head, Kirsten Ferguson, was saying, you know, I think she was saying some long lines of like, this is a, let's do a faster speed or something like that. And I was like, okay, this is, this is picking up and I'm going, the music is good. It's not, weather is nice and I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. And, uh, my calves were like, um, sis, <laughs> uh, sis, tap, tap, tap. What you doing? What you think you're doing? Right. Um, we don't go this fast and I'm going to need you to stop and, um, bring it back. How about we just walk for a little bit? Get, a, get our jog on, right? Like my calves, me and my calves are having this conversation and it's real time and it's happening in almost like a split second and I have to make a decision and I had to ask myself and I literally said it out loud to myself and I was like, mm, is this me trying to be safe or stay safe? And I think that's a really important distinguish thing to distinguish. Um, so I want to bring that to you here on the podcast. Um, the difference between being safe and staying safe, right? Um, being safe, that first one, is you have your body telling you or something telling you or you telling you, like, this is going to harm you. So in the case of running, if my cows are telling me if we keep going at this speed or if we keep running or if we keep doing whatever that we're doing, this is going to cause us an injury, right? We want you to stop because if you don't, we want you to stay safe, right? Um my calves in this situation when I was running, they felt like bricks. They felt really hard, but I felt, I feel that really almost every time I run at some point, usually early on, it just, everything just is like, give up. <laughs> and I understand that mentally, thankfully I've come to the place where I know in my mind, this is just a part of my running journey. It is always going to feel kind of hard early on. And then you keep going and you hit this stride and it's just like, you could run forever. Um, and so for me, I had to check in and decide, is this a be safe or a stay safe? And in that situation, it was definitely a stay safe. But the be safe is when you enter into those things in life, right? When something comes up for you and you feel that discomfort of like, who, hold on. The question is, is this telling me, am I getting this kind of like red flag because um, this person, this situation, this opportunity, this whatever, doesn't feel safe for me. It will be to my detriment. It will harm me if I proceed, right? That's the being safe side. Or is the staying safe, right? The staying safe is the comfort zone. This is a place I know I'm familiar. I don't have to try too much or put in as much effort if I just stay here. It's just the amount I want to give. I don't want to try something harder, more complex or different. I want to stay the same or with the familiar, right? That is staying safe. And that's what I was hearing that day. Um, because I knew I was fine. I always warm up properly. Nothing else fell off. Everything was feeling good. It just felt hard, right? Um, and it felt different and new because I haven't run at faster speeds in quite a while, um, especially outside. So the question is, which one are you, which voice are you listening to? And I want you to be able to make that distinction. When you begin to hear those voices, a new opportunity comes up. Oh, am I qualified for that? Hold on. Am I trying to be safe or stay safe? Am I trying to be safe because I know I'm incapable of doing this thing and I don't want to sign up for something that I know I can't do um, and don't have the potential and capacity to do? Or is it, I, I could actually probably do this, but it's just going to stretch me um, and it may cause some vulnerability. It may cause me to have to ask for help and maybe I don't want to do that. It may cause me to look a certain way and I always want to appear to be X, Y, or Z. That's now getting us over in the staying safe side, right? So which one are you listening to the most in your life? Which one are you hearing and which one are you leaning into? That's the question. Are you always giving ear to the be safe or stay safe? And most of the time, I'm going to tell you, it's the stay safe that's talking to us. That's saying, maybe I shouldn't apply for this opportunity or maybe I shouldn't do that. Or maybe I'm not able to do this. Or maybe I can't do this. Or maybe I should stop. Or maybe I should only, you see the pattern there? And so with this episode, I just want to give bring that to your attention that there are two different leanings, right? There's a fork in the road. There's be safe. This is going to injure you. Um, this is not, this is dangerous. This is harmful. This will be to your detriment. Or there's stay safe. 
And none of those, none of those things going to happen to you, girl. You just want to stay the same. Do what you already know. Be, stick with the familiar. Um, at, the, at the risk, though, of stunting your growth, of helping yourself to see what you actually are capable of, right? I was actually capable of running at a new speed. At Best Today, we exist to help women just like you be your best one today at a time. So each week on the podcast, we are going to highlight your stories and your voices. So let's see what's in the inbox today. I love my Best Today guide because it has freed me from being constantly busy. I can wake up in the morning and read a book if I want to. I don't have to jump straight into work because I know when that stuff will get done. At the end of the day, there are no more clouds of shame hanging over me, reminding me what I should be doing instead of enjoying myself. I love my Best Today guide for giving me back my free time. Thank you so much, Emma, for sharing how the Best Today Guide is helping you right where you are in your life. If you want to include your humanity, your health, your well-being, all of you into your day-to-day, the Best Today Guide wants to meet you right where you are. It is not a place where you're going to just fill out 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. time slots of doing your life away, but it's a place that's going to allow you to pour who you are and then what matters, being before doing. Um, I want you to go to besttoday.co or click the link right here where you're listening And go learn more. Go read the five-star reviews. Read the stories of life change, of real life change from real life women at all ages and stages of life all across this world who are using the Best Today Guide to live a life of intention. Um, You can learn more again by going to besttoday.co. And thank you so much, Emma, for sharing your voice and your story as it relates to using the Best Today Guide. How many times are you cutting yourself off? Are you being the one to grab the scissors and snip? Cutting yourself off from learning something about yourself, the way you learn, the way you show up, um, who you are, what you're capable of, what your potential is, because you keep deciding to be safe or stay safe rather in your comfort zone or with you, what you already know. That's all I have for you today. I want you to listen to this again, share it with a friend who you know needs to hear it, but You're at a fork in the road. Be safe or stay safe. Understand the difference between the two because a lot of times you choose staying safe and you call it being safe. You're not going to get hurt. You're not going to be injured to your detriment, right? You're not going to, this isn't going to harm you. But you tell yourself that it will and you call it being safe when in actuality you were just staying safe. So my hope is that now this makes you more aware of the two so you can decide which voice am I going to follow and which voice am I going to feed? You know, I was thinking as I was running, I was like, I'm so glad that what I consume strengthens me in my life because the whole time I was telling myself, you can do this. You've got this. You've done this before. When you're on mile two, you've already done this before. You did mile one. If When you're on mile three, you've already done this twice. You've done two miles. And it's just those are the voices that I constantly hear in my head. And that has been a work in progress, right? Um, especially when I was newer to running. I, you have to remember that what you are consuming, what are you giving your attention to? That's what's building a home in your mind. And those are the occupants that are going to start yelling when things get hard. And you want to make sure the people that are in there yelling are the people yelling for you to do the thing, like to, to the, the people you want in your head, right? That are yelling out. You want it to be the voices that are for your good, that are pushing you in a positive way, right? The voice that's saying, you can do this. You've got this. Keep going. Not the voice saying, I should give up. I've already done enough. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I guess I can try this next week. I don't know if I want to push that. I don't know if the opportunity for me, I, you know, the one making all those excuses. So here's a second lesson in this is be really mindful of what you are consuming because that is building a house in your head and the people in that house are going to shout out the things you've consumed. So if you're consuming stuff that says you're not this, you're not that, you're looking at people and you're like, oh, I, I want that. Oh, I wish I had that. Oh, I'm not there yet. That's what you're going to hear when you're living your life. And that's why I'm always trying to be a part of that voice that's in there saying, girl, you got this. Yes, you can. Yes, you will. One today at a time, right? One today at a time. Small steps matter. Small. I'm actually, I will choose small steps over large steps any day because those are sustainable. Come on.
Come on. Now, sometimes taking enough small steps make way for you to make some big leaps. Okay, so don't get me wrong. But those are the voices that I, that's the voice I want to be for you. But I also want you to do some inventory on the other voices that are in your head. Okay. So um, now that you are aware, my hope is that it helps you to choose to speak back to the stay safe, to let it know that you are capable, that you appreciate it for helping you to be safe, but you choose not to stay safe because you are capable and you're will you're. You're capable of growth and evolving and doing something different. And you're capable of existing in discomfort, right? Talk back to that voice of stay safe and let it know thank you. But unless you're here to tell me that there's something in danger of me being safe, I'm going to keep moving on. All right, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for being present with me for this week's episode of the Best Today podcast. Remember that everything that I do here on this podcast and within the company of Best Today is to help you to live well, live and work well. Um, So to learn more about how to get started with us at Best Today, you can go to besttoday.co forward slash quiz. And until then, I'll talk to you on the next episode. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Best Today podcast, you are going to love the Best Today guide. Our Better Than a Planner guide teaches you how to get clear on what you want identify your self-destructive habits and behaviors, and intentionally create space to prioritize yourself every single day. Don't go the journey to being your best one today at a time without the Best Today Guide. See inside its pages and order yours today at besttodayguide.com. Even better, when you order the Best Today Guide, we gift you with your first month free inside of the Best Today membership. So what are you waiting for? We're giving you everything you need to trade busy for intention. Go to besttodayguide.com and order yours today and join thousands of women across the globe proclaiming each day, this is what my best today looks like.